What's up guys? As you can see, we've got a bearing out right there. Uh, this other side's good, but uh, this is a 2016 Bad Boy ZT Elite. It's got the 747cc. It's been going out for a while and I've been driving it anyway, but it's a three quarter on this side and a three quarter on this side. I've already loosened it up uh, with my two wrenches. So I'm just gonna take it off by hand. There, there. All you've got is this nut right here and the other one's just a big log and bolt that goes through. So we're gonna get that out. So this thing has exploded. Gonna probably you're gonna have a rod in here that fits over this bolt right there. It's got some old bearing on it also. There's some old bearing on that. So we'll pump that out. Let's see what else is in here. Yeah, we got more parts and pieces that were in there. So uh, that's what's left of the old bearing. This right here. Not a whole lot, it's definitely been chewed up. So all we're gonna do is I bought a new bearing. Uh, these things are sealed internally so you don't have to grease them or anything. Uh, it's like 10 bucks. So I bought two of them because chances are this other side will be going out pretty soon. But So all I'm gonna do is just get this one here kind of lined up the best I can. Start giving her a few little taps. I've got a plastic mallet here. Kind of work it around to where it's even. Okay, that's set in there. We're just gonna put our pin back in. Make sure we go through all the way to the other side. Line it up. Put our bolt back through. Put our nut back on, tighten it up. And then that's it. So guys, it's a $10 piece of, of hardware. Uh, I am not a mechanic, look at that, like brand new. I'm not a mechanic, uh, anybody can do this. So if you've got a bearing out, uh, get you a new washer, you can, or a new bearing rather, you can get them anywhere. I, like I said, I bought a two pack for like 20 something bucks, but uh, get you a new bearing. You might have a little trouble. Now mine had exploded, so it was a lot easier coming out. Some of them may still be kind of stuck in there, but you can take a flathead screwdriver or something, kind of pop them out. But uh, you can see it literally took me about a minute to do that. So anyway, I'll tighten this back up and hopefully do my mat last mow for the year. But uh, that's it, guys. Just want to short share this uh, quick, short little video with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.